today we learn about differentiating circuit so let us start with circuit take one capacitor one resistor input square wave two voltmeter for measuring input voltage and output voltage join all the components Join to voltmeter so this one is V output and this one is V input now take a value of capacitor is equal to 50 microfarad here small u is used for microfarad and resistance is equal to 20 ohms this one is input voltage this is square wave and frequency is 50 hertz simulate control let us take is 0 0.08 now simulate it so this one is input voltage and this is output voltage mm. when input is given as a square wave or rectangle wave output is spikes so this is square or rectangle wave out, output is spikes in the differentiation circuit so if we change duty cycle 0.7 so waveform is also changed this is 0.7 and this is 0.3 portion so this is output voltage 0.7 duty cycle and this one is 0.3 so complete cycle is 0.1 this one is 0.7 this one is 0.3 this one is kept as a again 0.5 so these are the waveform for differentiating circuit if input is square wave now design of different circuit depends upon value of r and c the value of r and c is selected such that the time constant of this circuit time constant of rc circuit is equal to t is equal to r into c is always less than the time period of input wave now input frequency is 50 hertz so time period is equal to t is equal to 1 upon 50 is equal to 0 0.02 second so first one is the time period of rc should be less than the time period of input waveform the time period of input waveform is equal to t is equal to 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon 50 is equal to 0 0.02 second now time period of rc circuit is equal to t is equal to r into c value of r is equal to this is 20 let us place
this is place as a 10 okay so t is equal to r into c r is equal to 10 and c is equal to 50 microfarad so this one is 0 0.0005 second so the time period of input waveform is always greater than that time period of rc circuit therefore the time period of rc circuit is always less than the time period of input waveform second condition for differential circuit is the value of xc the value of xc should be 10 times larger than value of r so xc is equal to 1 upon omega c is equal to 1 upon 2 phi fc is equal to 1 upon 2 phi is equal to 3.14 f is equal to 50 and c is equal to 50 into 10 raised to minus 6 so it is approximately is equal to 64 ohms and our resistance is equal to 10 ohms so value of xc should be 10 times or more than larger value of value of r so it is kept as a 50 sorry it is taken as a 5 ohm now again we see so this is the waveform here the value of r is equal to 5 ohms and xc is equal to 64 again we take as a sine wave so different tating circuit convert sine wave into square wave so change this frequency 50 hertz so this is sine wave and this one is a square wave measure so this is sine wave and this is cos wave now again change this one this is the rectangle waveform and frequency is 50 hertz and this one is zero so differentiating circuit convert rectangle waveform into square wave or triangle wave if we change duty cycle of rectangle wave is equal to 0.8 then this one is also change so this one is 0.8 this is 0.2 again we take it is equal to 0.5 this is input and this is output so function of the differentiating circuit is when input is square wave output is spikes when input is sine wave output is cosine wave when input is triangle wave output is either square wave or it is a rectangle wave Thank you.